What's going on guys, Space Blue here, and as you can see, we are on BO1, and uh, we're playing the game that I never actually mastered. Like, I've hit, wow, probably like three or four clips total on this game, like, that I actually probably enjoy. But, you know, back when it actually first came out, I played it a lot with my IRL friends, and like, I was decent at it, but I never ever got up to like 14th prestige with the gold guns. I always wanted them, but this game just felt like it was such a grind to get. Like I was always jealous of my IRL friends who had it even because they were able to play this game more than I was because I would always end up playing like MW2 or MW3 when this game was the main game just because I never really got fully into it. I don't know. But now we're here in Ground War and uh, we're just going to try to hit some clips, you know, talk about this game, see if we can improve a little bit. One thing I did change, I always played on 10 sensitivity on this game, but I'm changing it down to 7 just to see how it works out. I played in bots a little bit, and I kind of liked it. One thing though, uh, I've been getting random messages from this one kid with FaZe in his gamer tag, and now he just follows me around, and uh, nothing I can do about it. One thing that's been annoying me lately is uh, terrible teammates in games that I'm playing. Like, I've been playing CS a lot, and uh, I have to play with random people, and it's like an hour of my time, and then they're just not good so i get salty but now i have phase fanboys and cod whenever i play it's just a just a constant struggle unless you play with the same you know group of people every single day and you know that you're gonna have consistency with your teammates like that's one thing that it can always just throw you off no matter what like you never know if your teammates are just gonna troll you or not because some people really have nothing better to do and honestly you can't even get mad at those people because like the casual person is gonna be like oh it's a game man have fun but if you've invested like you're pretty much life in the games. You're like, hey man, nah, it's a, let's take this serious. It's fun to take games serious, that's the point, you know? That's the point of gaming seriously. There's a point where I think the people who like troll feel they're a little bit too entitled because if you're at the point where you're playing with people who are all serious and you're the one trolling and everybody else is serious, that's just you being a terrible person, honestly. Like I've had to yell at people for like weeks on CS because they just have no morals. And as you can see on Xbox, I get recognized because I have FaZe in my name, and on CS, I sometimes have FaZe. It either completely makes people okay, or completely ruins the lobby. You know, it's, it's one or the other. Sometimes people don't notice, and that's okay. You know, I'd rather not be noticed at this point and just carry on against normal people than people play differently, but... You know, it is what it is. I always got a rep fade. Just last night, I was playing, and uh, there were people first round in my lobby who were saying, oh, we're gonna lose automatically, and started trolling because we had one person AFK one round. And then I said I was FaZe, and he literally asked me to autograph his profile on Steam and then continued to try, and I rallied the team to win. It was actually like the funniest thing to hear this kid just be like, second round, oh, we lost guys, sorry. And he was completely serious, and he was like, I'm just trying to grow as a player, I gotta admit it, you know, we got a bot. Oh, wow, I almost just had a clip there. That dude just jumped up and said, nope, though. I mean, it wasn't really close, like I was slow with the shots. My shot with the sensitivity is probably so ugly, though, so don't judge me on that. I'm just trying to get used to it. But yeah, overall, I appreciate that you guys idolize me and whatnot, but treat me like a normal person, because if not, then that's just terrible. Oh, look at that, no dogs taking my kills and whatnot. No way did I just get 360. See, like, I'm on BO1 so rarely. When people see me on BO1, they tweet at me, like, why are you on BO1? That's so weird. And honestly, I understand it. It's so different from the usual games I play, like, MW2, MW3. It'd be like, if LeBron James was just playing baseball, you'd probably tweet at him, like, what are you freaking doing out there? And I did just compare myself to an NBA athlete because uh, Norton Shat did the same on Twitter a couple days ago, saying he'd rather idolize Michael Jordan than Zesma. And that personally offended me because... Zezma is my hero. Zezma showed that if you uh, just grinded one game for long enough, people will whisper your names through the hallways at school, and uh, now I have my own hats, so I'm halfway there. Also, I don't know why they've been out of stock so long. It's honestly kind of weird, like, I have to put in a word. Just makes them more exclusive, I guess, and uh, then when they get released, they'll be sold out instantaneously again, maybe. Or maybe not. Wow, my shots are great that was sarcasm by the way look at this kid that is that is the level of play that i need to be at look at the levels of the other team though like this is this is gross wow <laughs> there there's nobody who doesn't play this game religiously props to all the bo1 snipers all the black ops snipers out there because they're literally a different breed because you have to play a different game all the time and uh 
I've had two host migrations in a row. I can't even play the game while I'm playing the game. That's how little I can play the game, so props. What? Yeah, that's what happened. No, I'm on a three bar. I just got beasted by connection on this game twice in a row and then got a message from probably the lag. What just happened there? All right, these levels are a little bit more, you know, manageable and a uh, smaller map. That's what I like to see. Don't like the hit markers. I do like the noobs that just was unable to kill me right there. That was pretty nice. Oh my God. There's three of them right here. Wow, I could have had a switch feed. Easy. This is this is fun right now. I just joined this game and already have seven kills. So my best clip on BO1 is a PSG5 multi. I'm nowhere near as good as some people who are on this game. Sprat is obviously the best BO1 player. If you don't know that, then you don't really know BO1 sniping. And I'm going to play my five multi for you and then uh, Sprat six on. And Sprat six on is one of the best looking six ons I've seen like ever. And the fact that the BO1 is like 10 times better. And that's just what happens when you have such an accurate, nice shot for so long. You will eventually get the opportunities that will end up looking like that. And that's why we do it for so long, to wait for them to happen. As Michael Scott once quoted Wayne Gretzky, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So if you don't grind 24-7, you're not going to be able to hit clips 24-7. So think about that. I remember one of my friends got the uh, prestige edition of this game with the RC car. And uh, he was so hyped that he got it for Christmas. And then the RC car never worked. At least he had BO1, the best game ever, right? Dude, the phase guy followed me from Ground War. What's he gonna do? Just stare at me? Cool, bro. Phase up. Like, I love the fans, but, you know, just treat us normally. If I walked up to this guy right now and just stared at him and prevented him from playing the game, look at what he's gonna do. He's gonna knife me. Look at what this guy's doing. Just staring at me, trying to prevent me from playing the game. What does he get out of this? Bro, calm it down. And it's just so irritating to always know the little arrow is going to be following me because, like, it's just annoying. If I'm trying to play the game seriously and I have a minion, why? What? Why did that kid look me in the eyes, dude? Oh, that would have been a nice no-scope. That's, like, 2009 thing to go for. That was right next to him. I'm gonna join an XJMX with that one. And even closer to Blaziken than I already am. Come on. One more. Wow. Can you imagine? Why was he there and not... He was the one place I couldn't see. What are the chances? Pretty slim. I just always thought this game was my least favorite because it's like the slowest paced. That and, uh... I, I don't know. That's really the only reason I never liked this game. It's just the slowest paced game. And uh, it's because I don't know how to play it right. Or, you know, I don't get the right lobbies. Or I don't play Ground War enough. Because, you know, you get wrecked in Ground War. Or there's only, you know, two lobbies. I don't know. It's, it's just not the fastest game. You know, I like fast paced games. I like stuff to be always happening. You know, I like my skill to be a factor as well. And uh, I like to be entertained. I don't really like that everybody in this game just sits in the weirdest corners either because that's all they do. Like half the time I go negative in this game just because I'm the only one on my team who will go out and find people because I don't want to sit in a corner. I know it seems like I always have stuff to complain about every game, but that's just what happens when you know what you want to play. You know, like I'm not going to play games I don't want to play. And that's why... You guys are constantly going to be seeing different games on my channel, usually. Because times are always changing, you know? Every game is not going to be the best at all. You know, I don't think I should have to commit to one game at any certain point in time. I like to play what I like to play. You know, certain days call for certain things. I woke up today and wanted to play BA1 for a bit. Because I never, you know, really got good at it. And I wanted to make a video. And here we are. And, uh... 
Not much is happening, but I just missed a five on because of that guy right there. And he's still not dead. I hope you enjoyed that care package. Was it, was it worth ruining my clip? Well, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I don't want to play this game that much longer. Just, just showing you guys why I don't play this game. Uh, you can see for yourself.